Hi, my name is Ben Lopez. I'm an independent filmmaker and I'm here to tell you about amateur movie making. You have to learn how to shoot on a budget. You need a cheap script, a cheap crew, cheap equipment, cheap locations, and a cheap post-production flow. Step one, you gotta do wonders with a budget. Basically, you're shooting a movie with almost no money. If you're shooting amateur style, you're doing the miracles with nothing. Step two, you're gonna need a crew that's able to work on the cheap. Many times students will help you out. Many times a lot of people that don't know how to shoot a movie, but maybe they have a lot of desire or maybe they have equipment, they wanna come and help you out on your set, I recommend recruiting those people. It's always important to always keep looking and get people on your set that have the energy and wanna be there with you and they wanna shoot a movie with you. Step three, you need a script. It's very important to recruit people that have always wanted to write a script, but I also recommend getting people who maybe written stuff before. Maybe they have a BA or an MA in writing. Check your local university. There's also writing clubs in your local town. I would also put a lot of ads online looking for scripts. Uh, I would also check out people that you admire, their writing style. Maybe they can. Maybe you couldn't afford a big movie writer, but maybe you can afford someone that's starting out. It's always important to keep researching as much as you can. Step four, make sure you get equipment. It doesn't matter what the equipment is. It doesn't matter if it's a flip camera or a home movie camera. It's just important for you to get a hold to some equipment to record your work. Okay. The best way to get some of this equipment is many times your crew will come with their own equipment. A second way to do it is to look for it online, classified. Step five, you're going to need actors. You're going to need talent. Uh, on an amateur uh, film, many times your crew becomes some of your actors. But I do recommend getting some of your friends. Uh, what I do recommend is that you look at local theater groups, look online, look at people that you've seen in local filmmaking, and try to recruit some of the, the people that are the most reliable. Because if there's one thing that happens on amateur films is that you have very little time to shoot, so you want to get the best actor available for that time. Step six, you're gonna need to figure out post-production. On an amateur movie, many times amateur movies are never completed. Why? Because they never figured out the post-production process. The one thing you gotta figure out is, does anyone that I know, perhaps you have it or a friend of yours has, is a Mac or a PC? Based on those two systems, you gotta figure out what type of editing program you're gonna need. So most people have Final Cut Pro, most people have Movie Maker, Sony Vegas, Premiere. There's a lot of software available out there for film for people who are interested in filmmaking. There's also free software available online. Some computers come with their own software. For example, Mac, sometimes they come with I, uh, iMovie and you can do some very simple cutting on those. My name is Ben Lopez, thank you for watching.